Good morning, my family, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the manner of St. Paul, I send my greeting to you. I, Father Don, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the church of God that is in Kakana and Holland Town. To you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, the scripture passage I have for you comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace in me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them, not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believe. I come to you on this Friday morning of the first day of May in the year 2020, and as we begin the month of May, we recognize that we as a church during this month have always honored and held up Mary as that great witness, that great person of faith, who so completely responded to God's will and surrendered completely to it, that because of it, we came to know the glory of the birth of Jesus Christ in our world. And that through that birth, we came to know the power and the love of God through the life, death, and then ultimately resurrection of Jesus Christ that enabled us to reunite with God. I shared that particular passage because it speaks. It is by the grace of God that I truly am who I am. And when I am disconnected from that grace of God, I can never truly be the person God created me to be. I never can be truly be and have the life that God wanted me to have. And as we enter into this month of Mary, we as a church recognize the power of that witness of faith of she who completed herself completely to God's will. This morning, after the live streaming of morning mass, Father Kyle is going to lead a little prayer service that is a renewal of the consecration of our parishes and indeed our country in North America as a whole to the care of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The recognition that we ask her for that help and that guidance and support inter interceding for us with God to watch over us, guide us and protect us, to help us understand the power of her witness and to do what she could do and answer God so completely and wholly by saying yes. Yesterday, I celebrated a uh, funeral service with a family of ours. And that gathering in prayer was a powerful experience of a family that does come together in prayer and turns themselves, throws themselves on the grace and the mercy of God. Yet, in reality, there was something that felt incomplete because as a whole, as a community, we would have gathered in a much larger way to support and encourage to walk through those mourning and that grief together. But her husband who died was a man who had overcome a lot of obstacles and challenges in his life. He lived with that I can do attitude. I will do everything I can. So too it is with us during this time of crisis. We simply seek to do everything we can, to trust in God's will and God's plan for us, to surrender to that grace and that love. Every day this week, my message has resounded and been about the grace of God that enables us to know the life that God created us to have and meant us to have. As we continue our Easter journey, as we experience the glory of the resurrected Christ, it is about understanding the grace of God who makes us who we really are. Peace and joy to you this day. Peace, the glorious peace that God and God alone can provide us. A peace experienced and discovered through the abundant love of God poured out upon us through the life of Jesus Christ on the cross. Joy. The joy of experiencing and knowing God's living presence that is blazing before us in the risen Christ to show us the way.
Peace and joy to you this day and every day. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.